Senator Balozi Kemigitura with the Senator from Kiembu, from Murang, I should say, and also he is the Deputy Speaker of the Senate. We have also with us Senator Professor Anyang Nyongo from Kisumu, Dr. Shemo Choda, who is, Shemo Choda is a global leader of Kenya Diaspora Alliance, Farah Malim, Deputy, former National Deputy Speaker of, of the National Assembly, I've mixed my words there, a mouthful, but we have also with us <coughs> Honorable Kipruto Arab Kirwa, who is a former Minister of Agriculture, and also the Deputy Leader of Amani National Congress. Let's d uh, drill deeper now into what we have from this particular. You raising your hand? You want yeah, to say something? Just before we leave the aspect of uh, propaganda and post truth, because I think what Ambassador was talking about of uh, alarmist, I, I think this is an issue we need to take seriously. I remember I was reading on social media, particularly if you go, go social media, yes. where some people were saying, look, if they were discouraging people to go not to go to <coughs> uh, to verify their registration, but if you go and you put your thumbprint, then you will already have been recorded as having voted. You know, there were all manner of propaganda circulating. But somebody wrote <coughs> in the nation, I think, yes, Sunday nation, that you know you can't grow a country through propaganda. I think this is one thing that we need to. I know some coalitions are very good at propaganda and post truth, but let's bear in mind that we can never build a country through that. That's what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. So if when Mwenshimiwa Farah says he's been in his house eating plastic rice, oh. you, you know, you wonder what would be the consequences of eating plastic rice. I mean, would have been, uh, there would have been an outcry and, uh, and health problems over an unmeasurable proportions. This hasn't come out. So really, before we make such serious statements, mm -hmm. let's be sure it's concrete evidence, and why have we not provided this to KFIS, to KSB, so that people be prosecuted, because that would be playing with Kenyans' lives. All right, briefly, as a responsible you, you, Kenya, you, you know, should have you know, taken listen, the rise itself. Listen, listen we've, we've done that. You, I'm informing him, I'm informing the rest of the team who are here, I'm informing the country that I've seen it myself. And, and many other Kenyans will tell you they've seen that past right. Let me tell you, this reminds me of a, of a, of a nice story. There's this, there's this incident when uh, a child is with his mother, and his father in the same room. And the father begs wind. You know, the father farts. Then he looks at them and says, who did that? The son looks at the father. Of course, he can see his father did <coughs> fart, but he cannot say it's my father who did. And he can't say it's my mother who did. So he looks around and he sees a cat. I think he said it's the cat that did that. You know what I mean? So, so <laughs> it's a cat that blew the, 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 you know, that broke the wind. So the point is that everybody here is, is kind of scared to say, put the blame where the play blame is. I've told you, there is a systemic, a breakdown of the system here. That's why we're having what we have. Whether it's a plastic rice that's there, whether it's a shortage of maize that's there, all these problems we have right now. You can't keep on scatting them around and looking for uh, somebody else to blame on that and talk about propaganda when people can't get the, the stable food in there. Stable food is not there in the, in the, in the markets. It's not there. In the, it, it, before, it was, it was there, but it was not affordable to most Kenyans. It was going for almost 200 shillings or 150 shillings when it's supposed to be much less than that. But right now, it's just not there. So instead of saying, look, we need to do these things together, we need to close ranks as, as, as opposition and, 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 and government also because it's a crisis in itself, we say, no, 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 this is a propaganda. Don't talk about these things. Uh, and no, we can't do that. There's a plastic rise in the market out there in the field. Kenyans are consuming it without their knowledge. When we say that that thing is there and something needs to be done, like <coughs> it, oh, it's a propaganda and you're creating a situation. No, the okay. situation is that the stuff is there in the market. All right, let, let's Deal wind up on it. it. Yeah. Is, is there in the market is uh, st uh, still a matter of it's investigation? A that needs to be dealt with and take that emergency right now. And all of us should be sorry that that's there and should be expecting the government to take an action. The bar. Okay. I reiterate what I said earlier. As leaders, let us not make statements we cannot elaborate on. We cannot, uh, you know, um, be able to stand, stand by. I'm when able to When you stand say there is plastic rice in the market, right. my beginning point, or my beginning uh, opening remark on this was, there is this allegation, right? And it is time that we give time to our institutions. Let the Kenya Bureau of Standards <coughs> today, not tomorrow, right. come up and tell us about plastic rice or no plastic rice. But I do not think anybody sitting on this, on this uh, table here should be talking about plastic rice. I think this is uh, not good. I think this could very easily, right, in my you. view, no, end up as incitement. I think this is important. Oh. Mm. I think this is important because 
<laughs> because like I said, plastic rice is right. a very serious thing. True. It must be a very serious, must have very, very serious consequences. It so is. let's not stand here and tell Kenyans there is plastic rice. Let us tell Kenyans there, is, there are those allegations and that we expect that the relevant institution is going to give us right. um, an answer on this. So on this, since we've raised this particular yeah, but, but, issue, but, yes. But the bad really, I don't think we, it is fair to doubt the integrity of one of our panelists. I'm not <coughs> doubting the no, integrity. No, no. Look, the, the, I'm, the, I'm the, willing to speak. bring you that I'm bag here respect, and we I'm do it here. I've respect for Farah and he knows it. I'm willing to bring that bag here. I've respect for Farah and he knows it. I've just made a statement. Let me say the following, my dear friend Kevin. I think Farah has made a statement. I think, no, I think to cast as passions at that statement, that is dangerous. It's also not fair. We live in a democratic society. This is not the first time I have heard about plastic rights. I have heard about plastic rights before. And something cannot be going around this country without some kind of evidence. So what I'm saying, yes, you're right, can be. Let the Kenya Bureau of Standards deal with this issue and come out clearly telling Kenya what the situation is. Because if they don't, then we shall continue this kind of suffering. Thing. <coughs> okay. Okay. Having said that, having said that, that doesn't mean that we got Farah from saying what he did. Because I know that Kuchulu uh, is very eager. To Indeed, because let, this let is let a just, serious issue, Professor. Let me, just fi let me just finish. It is serious, but also let's not make it appear as if speaking about it is going to uh, inflame the country tomorrow. I mean, people have been speaking about <coughs> it all this time. The point is that while we are speaking about it, the relevant institution should step in and make a clear statement to put a stop to the fears and the allegations. Full stop. The more we speak about it, the more ridiculous we seem. Yeah, pro I mean? pro professor, with due respect, yeah. I think the institutions need to step in. But let's assist them. If there are some of us who have, have, have evidence that there is that uh, plastic rice, Let's provide it to those institutions because even the shops, the the, 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 the shops that are stocking it need to be prosecuted. I think as leaders we need to go further. Can we take that to KFIS and KBSA? This is plastic rice, so that people are prosecuted. Because if Kenyans are least eating plastic rice, that's a serious problem. Okay, we should be playing. And there about. is a difference between unscrupulous business people and the government. I think that should be also uh, underscored. There's a very big difference. Between. All right. So, but but how can we then have uh, it, plastic it, it, rice and scrupulous business people and having this getting into the country? Do we do we have any you know greed that this that really is, passes through? That is the exact point that Honorable Kipruto 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 I should be understood very clearly. I'm not mm. saying there isn't. I have no evidence. Sure. But the point I'm making is, if indeed there is plastic crisis in this country, mm -hmm. then there are people that must, must bear that responsibility. Agreed. And so. these are the relevant institutions, like mm -hmm. KFIS, like KBS, and all those others. The Kenya uh, uh, Counterfeit Agency. Anti -counterfeit yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Yes. And, and somebody must bear this responsibility exactly. and be indicted for it. And, and we must draw a distinction between the national government and institutions because all of us were there when he created these institutions. I think it's imperative that we draw that distinction. Uh, but, I, 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 but having said that, we must see some blood. You know, some people must be prosecuted if indeed, if indeed we're having this plastic crisis in the country. But it would be very difficult to actually uncouple uh, you know, those institutions from the government because essentially they are the government themselves. No, 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 they're not the yeah. government. If you have read the constitution properly, you know that you notice that these in institutions, are most of them are independent. Uh, most of them, they do their work. They're expected to do their work. I mean, they're expected to do their work. We have cafes when uh, Honorable Kipruto Arapiro and I were in the Ministry of Agriculture, mm -hmm. when he was my boss and I was his assistant minister. <laughs> we were going to cafes almost every other week to see exactly what they were doing and to have consultations with them about the issues we are discussing now. So the point I'm making is that there are people who are supposed to be doing certain things, and they're supposed to do it. If plastic rice finds its way into a shelf, in a supermarket, then somebody must bear that responsibility. There are not two ways about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Libao, I, I want to share with you uh, a small film here. 
you know, I'm, I'm actually surprised. I'm actually seriously surprised. <laughs> no, Be because you, I'll tell I, you why. Yes, the, the reason why I'm surprised. I, I, I cannot verify that no, particular no, 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 film no, no, because no, no. It, it's I, not I, admissible I, on this show. Okay, okay, we, fine. Yes, and I've seen it. By I, the way. I, I'm yeah. surprised. I'll tell you why I'm surprised. <laughs> this has been there in the public domain for a while now. Social media. And social media everywhere. People are talking to one another. And, and personally, I can tell you, you will not see you not see a ton or two tons of plastic rice in the market in Kenya today. You will see it, if not hundreds, thousands of tons. Which wow. are being sold to unsuspecting Kenyans. Do, the right, do, the, right, do the right thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Now, you want me to believe? Do you want? Do you want us to tell Kenyans that Kenya Bureau of Standards will only hear about plastic uh, uh, rice because we're talking about it, or Farah mentioned it on the on the national television today? It's been there in the market. And it's been there in the social media. And people are eating it. And people are eating and it. And no consequences. Uh, hang on a minute. No, no, no. But, no, no, no. See, but, but problem, you see, the, the consequence can be, can be long term. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we cannot say that Anything it can be the immediate take reaction. Might take if at all, it's an action there. It might take 10 years, it might take 5 years, we yes. never know. It might take much longer than that. <clears> you see, casino, whatever you call it. Casinogenic. Uh, casinogenic, yes. We'll take these things. So the point, the fact of the matter is that. I am willing tomorrow to come to the same show. Some of us can come. I'll bring the stuff here. Don't write no, no, no. here. Can't why, why, can't you take it, why, can, why can't you take it to the Kenya Bureau of Standards even today? Do you still have it in the house? You don't think they know it? You don't think oh they know it? Uh, look, the problem with uh, my good friend here, Ochoa, uh, he has No, no, no. Let's not talk about <laughs> problems. <the bar. laughs> let him finish. My, my let him finish. No, no, just a moment. Let him finish. No, no, we will come to No, no, no. Okay. Yes, let him finish. Just continue. When, when you go overboard with all our integrity and the rest of it, and we reduce ourselves to a bit of chronism and parochialism, you know. Debat. When, when, we, when we are seriously supposed to be discussing things that are of interest right, thank you. and serious concern to our country, this is a health matter for your information. Thank you.